Dresden is the capital city of the Free State of Saxony in Germany. It is situated in a valley on the river Elbe near to the Czech border. The city is known for its beautiful Baroque and Fukuoka city center, which is connected to its long history as the capital and royal residence of the electors and kings of Saxony. Since the last centuries, Dresden has regained importance as one of the cultural, educational, political and economic centers of Germany. So it is not surprising that it is also a prospering location for science and research. Here one can find many research institutes and companies, but also the biggest university in eastern Germany. The Technische Universität Dresden is a comprehensive university with 126 majors and more than 36,000 students. Welcome to the Department of Chemistry and Food Chemistry. My name is Alexander Eichmüller. Since 2005 I hold a chair in physical chemistry here at the Technische Universität Dresden. The research of our group is focused on nanoparticle synthesis, construction and characterization of nanoparticle-based materials and their applications, for example, in suitable devices. Bulk cadmium telluride is a semiconducting black material widely used in solar cells. However, by the formation of particles with a diameter of only a few nanometers out of this material, things are changing. Due to confinement effects, the band gap energy increases and these nanoparticles are showing different colors in absorption and luminescence depending on their size. Maintaining these nanoscale properties and at the same time create processable materials is a challenging task. Our most recent efforts deal with the creation of highly porous macroscopic materials via the controlled destabilization of colloidal nanoparticle solutions. In this way, we realize the marriage of the nanoscale world with that of macro dimensions. Although this monolith has dimensions of several millimeters, it keeps the important properties of the nanoparticles, which were used as building blocks, as it is revealed by the strong luminescence of the aerogel under UV light. This topic was attracting my attention for the first time in 2005, triggered by a publication in Science. There, Stephanie Brock from Wayne State University and her team reported on their strategy to use prefabricated semiconductor nanoparticles and join them into a self-supporting network. Following the knowledge of metal oxide aerogels, they used supercritical drying to transform their materials into aerogels. This gave the starting shot for our own work in this research field. Several publications show the possibility to manage the production of these fine inorganic structures using semiconductor as well as noble metal nanoparticles. Besides their exceptional optical properties, these materials are extremely light, show high porosity and inner surfaces. The comparison with this small petal shows the extremely low density, which can be as low as one one thousandth of the bulk material. Accordingly, the list of promising application fields covers a wide range. Heterogeneous and electrocatalysis, LEDs, photodetectors and energy harvesting systems, optical sensors, SERS substrates, broadband optical limiters, color conversion layers, thermoelectrics and conducting transparent substrates. The general approach leading to nanocrystal-based aerogels consists of three main steps. Nanoparticle synthesis, the destabilization process and a drying procedure. Destabilization may be achieved by chemical or photochemical oxidation of surface ligands, several washing steps or even the reducing of electrostatic stabilization. In order to maintain the network structure during the removing of liquid from the pores, 
supercritical drying is used. This drying method preserves the fine and delicate structures from significant changes due to surface tension and turbulences. But there's one more question to be answered. How does such a structure look like? In order to gain more insight into these complex structures, we need to use methods suitable for nano-sized objects. So, electron microscopy in both variations, scanning electron microscopy and transmission electron microscopy, were applied to characterize these structures. Here we see the structure formed by the controlled destabilization of novel metal nanoparticles. The self-supporting network is formed by nanowires which are created by the fusion of initially spherical nanocrystals. High resolution TEM reveals their multifaceted structure. Starting its development already 80 years ago, the research and applications of metal oxide-based aerogels are evidently ahead of the relatively young nanosciences. But these well-known strategies for the formation of gel networks use a salt gel method which depends on condensation reactions. This is not realizable for all kinds of materials and therefore the new method described in this perspective leads to a valuable alternative. Here, nanoparticles and the nature of their stabilizing agents play the major role and so totally new materials become available. This opens an enormous variety of new application fields and will certainly be part of future investigations of material scientists.